Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a, brand, a look at the brand new Acer Aspire uh, desktop PC and monitor. What you get here is a 23 inch monitor, uh, HD. It, uh, it's LED and it's really rather bright and nice. You can see we're running Thor here. This is just through Netflix just to show you what it looks like uh, in a basic way. Obviously, you're looking through a camera so you're not going to be able to see the true quality. You want to go to the store to see that. Um, here you have an Acer uh, mouse and keyboard. Now, Acer sends really nice keyboards and mice with their whole setups here rather than a lot of companies send you just like a, a crappy third party thing just, just to say that they have it in the box. Acer is actually providing something nice. Now, you got two mice, uh, two keys there, and a regular little uh, wheel. So it's not, it's, it is sort of basic, but it's a really high quality. The uh, keyboard is similarly rather nice quality. Check out the photos in the, uh, you know, the review to see it up close. But you have buttons like this where you can, you can go to sleep. You can play uh, music. You can work with, with your computer to set that all up. Um, the the uh, keys themselves are a really nice quality, and keyboard's nice. On the back has uh, some risers and then little bumpers there to stick to your thing. Um, the actual unit here is made to look nice out in the open, where uh, a lot of the uh, you know some desktops you buy you can just set them under your uh, desk, just made to look you know set back. This one's obviously made to look nice sitting out. Now what you got up here on top, you have four USB 2.0, you have a headphone jack as well as a microphone. On, the, uh, on this side you have nothing. This panel is made to be removed, we'll show you that in a second. Right here, this is not a button, it just says uh, Acer Spire, and that uh, leads over to this side, which has the power button. Now, the power button is made to be uh, you know, set off to the side so you can see it, but it is a blue, and it's obviously got the power button. Uh, indicator there. Now these two buttons, one ejects your CD or DVD, this one pops open so you can uh, put uh, whatever you need to put in there, you know, memory, memory there, and the hard drive, put them like that. Here you have several memory card readers, it's just anything you could possibly think of is right there whenever you need it. On the back, you've got quite a few ports, now we already have four USB 2.0 we have one, two, three, four, five, six more right there, and then two more uh, USB 3.0 right there. So you have more USBs you can possibly reuse. You have your power up here, one fan, two fans, another USB 2.0, two, two more USB 2.0s. So again, so many USBs you're not going to use them. You got a couple of disabled ports here. Now these are will be enabled if you so choose. Like our build does not have them enabled, but you know you can order it however you want. Here we have a couple more things for a uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, here's more for your speakers, if you want to extend your speaker range. Uh, HDMI, uh, VMA, got uh, you know several ports here, right out of the box, if you want to run it through your HDTV. This is obviously running through the monitor that we got with the build. And I want to look in the side. Now, this, build, this computer is not necessarily made to be modified all that much, but, you know, it's, it's perfectly fine right out of the box. But if you do want to modify it, it is rather easy. We have a couple of screws here on top, on the bottom, and there's a nice little uh, handle here Go off the side. And there you have it. One fan here, one fan here, another fan here, and really easy to move and move stuff. Simple and rather nice.